Hello everyone. I am Yogesh and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to design a quiz with the help of Google Form. This quiz will be self grading quiz. That means when student will submit their responses immediately they can see the correct answers and also they can view their grades. So let's see how to design such quiz with the help of Google Form. To design a Google Form, first we need to sign in to our, to our Google Drive account. Simply click here on the 9 dotted box. You can see a drive symbol, click on it. If you are already logged in to your Google account, you can directly get access to the Google Drive. Here you are supposed to click on new and move down to the more option. There you will find the option for Google form. You can either start with blank form or a ready made template. We will begin with blank form. Once we click on it, the new form gets opened in new tab. Let's name it as sample quiz. Once we write the name here and simply click here, it will get copied automatically. We can write the description of our form here. If you want to give any instruction to the student about how to solve this quiz, you can write all the description under this. Before we start with designing a quiz, we'll turn on some settings. Here on the right side top corner, you will find a tab of setting. Click on it. There are three options under setting that is general, presentation and quizzes. In order to make this google form as a quiz, you need to toggle this on. Below that we have two options that is immediately up after each submission student can view their marks or if you want to view them later simply click here. Right now I'll keep this option on. Again we get three options here as mid question, correct answers and point values. We'll keep it as it is and we'll move on and save this. By default Google form will give you option of collecting email addresses. If you want to turn this off, again click in setting and simply under the general option untick this and save. Now we will start designing our quiz. Very first what we need is the roll number of student. So I'll, we will assign a roll number and here we will click on short answer. We will make this required. That means student have to respond to this particular question. Next if you want to add second question to this quiz simply we will click on this plus icon so next question will get added to this we'll write our next question as which is the capital of India now we have many options here short answer, paragraph, multiple choice, check boxes, drop down, file upload, linear scale, multiple choice grid, check box grid, date and time. In order to make self grading question, short answer and paragraph is of no use. Simply we'll begin with multiple choice and we'll give our options as Mumbai, Delhi, Kolkata and Bangalore. Now to make it self graded we will click here on answer key and we will click on the correct option. Also we will assign points to it. For example if it is for 2 points after assigning this 2 we will click on done. Now we will add next question. If this question is of true or false type, then we will type the question first. 
there are eight colors in rainbow google form itself identifies types of questions so it has given me the suggestions as true and false so i'll directly add from here you can see two options that is true and false are automatically added to this again in order to make it self reading we'll click on answer key and we'll make it as false and we'll assign two points to this if you want to give feedback to the student you can add the feedback from here after assigning a feedback and giving correct option as well as points we'll click on done if you want to make this questions compulsory simply click on this required so i'll make it on required required and i'll add next question if we want to make this question of true sorry of uh, match the following type then we'll first type question match colors of traffic signal with the means then instead of multiple choice here we will click on multiple choice grid we can have a rows and columns here under rows we will give the option of traffic signal colors that is red color yellow color and green color next in columns we will give their meanings randomly for instance first for uh, column the student can see as slow down next they can see as stop and last one is go slow then we'll click here again require response in each row so they are supposed to answer to each row compulsorily we'll set the answer for this as well red color is used to stop yellow color is used to go slow or sorry slow down and green is to go we need to correct this before that we'll assign the points to this two two points and here we'll make the correction go so this is a match the following type question if you want to make this question multiple choice as drop down you can simply click here drop down then you can have a drop down list of these four options i'll show you how it looks like the first question we have now drop down list if you don't want drop down simply go here again and instead of drop down click on multiple choice let's see how does it look so here now instead of drop down we have four choices so this is actually the view of student this is the way they can view this quiz i'll show you what happens when student respond to this quiz let's start responding if the roll number of the student is 10 which is the capital of india delhi or there are eight colors in rainbow i'll click on false red color slow down yellow color stop and green color go and submit once students submit this they can view this they can view their scores directly now student can see if they have responded correctly the question will highlighted with the green tick and if they have answered wrong the quick answer will highlighted with red color
also student can get the correct answers below it so this is the way student can immediately view the correct answers as well as grades in this case this student has got 6 marks out of 10 now i'll show you this teachers view once student respond to our quiz here we get the number of responses once click on this we have three options as summary question and individual under summary tab we can get the insight of each and everything that means we get the average marks that are that of our class median of our class also the range that is minimum and maximum marks achieved by our students we can get the graph of each and every student as i have just one response for this quiz you can see one graph also we get a question wise detailed analysis by the google form if you want to see a question wise response you can click here on the question tab or if you want to assess each and every individual's response then here we can have the view of each and everyone's response so this is the way very easily we can assess our student and that too also very easily without taking so many answer sheets just on single click student can submit and they can get the grades automatically hope you will find this easy and you will use this in your daily teaching thank you thank you for watching